Hello friends, uh, this is Dr. Ranjan Gadai. Uh, today we will discuss uh, over the topic that is the uh, review article writing, how to write an impactful review article. And why this uh, topic is important for the researchers because once the researchers do choose a topic, they do some kind of, of yeah, they do a rigorous literature survey, they get some knowledge about the topic, then uh, you know they produce their own work. Once they complete their, uh, yeah, once they understood the concept of the topic, concept, uh, you know, of the, yeah, they understood the, you know, recent work uh, has been, uh, a recent work done by the other researchers in that particular area, they try to write a review article. And uh, you can consider this, uh, you know, review article, uh, it is a kind of, uh, you know, uh, article which contain a up-to-date information uh, of compressively cover the relevant literature means once you are doing a thorough literature survey then then you can use that literature survey and you can uh, get that literature review part and you can write a review article but only thing is that you should know the procedure how to you know proceed for the writing of a review article what are the things you have to keep in the mind while writing a review article once you know all this concept then you can uh, able to write a review article about a particular topic which you are having an interest. So, uh, starting with the introduction, is uh, we will we'll discuss here about the review article. But before that, we should know about the literature. And uh, uh, a general concept is that uh, the research is a you know research uh, may be done alone, uh, but it is not done in isolation. Generally, the people say say in this way, and that is a you know right statement because you can do the research by yourself without taking the help of other researchers or other you know scientists but you cannot do the research in isolation it means you have to be you know uh, clear your concept you have to be follow the uh, you know that work of other people in that particular area then only you can proceed for the research that's why this statement is you know correctly uh, written like research may be done alone but it is not it is never done in isolation and this the production of new knowledge is fundamentally depend on the past knowledge that is definitely correct one if you are doing a new kind of work then definitely you will have to follow the previous work which has been done by the other researchers if you not follow then in that case you cannot proceed further that's why you have to read a lot of articles you have to follow the work of other people in that particular area then only you can proceed further so uh, yeah, this review article like uh, uh, writing of the re review article it is very important why i'm just giving one example uh, if someone is you know interested to do a work in a particular topic in that case you'll have to follow a lot of uh, uh, resource article a lot of resource paper in that particular area and for for uh, you know for following that uh, following the work of other he has to go through all the articles but if one you are getting a good review article in that particular area, which is uh, which is uh, you know uh, covered about fifty number or hundred number of papers of that particular topic, in that case, directly you will get the information about that hundred number of papers from a particular a single paper, a single review articles, which will be really helpful for the particular researchers. Then uh, uh, you know the, it, it will be a time saving. Because you will get a number of paper in a particular area, it will be very uh, easy for you to analyze that one. Uh, then, uh, as as we dis as we will discuss about the review article, you should know about the literature review. Because once you know the concept of literature review and how we'll do the uh, literature review, then only we can proceed for writing of a review article. Because both are interrelated. Once you do the literature uh, survey, once uh, and, and by doing the literature survey or literature review, you'll get, yeah, you'll develop your concept, yeah, you'll develop clear your basic, uh, you know, uh, yeah, clear your basic uh, idea about a particular topic, and you'll get to know that what are the things which is happening, yeah, which is, uh, you know, which is going on in the, uh, yeah, which is going on uh, by the scientific community in that particular area that's why you have to uh, just uh, you know uh, you, you, you have to 
get a up to date knowledge about a particular topic that's why literature survey or literature review is very vital then uh, uh, how will define a literature review literature review it is basically a uh, written summary of different journals articles books and other documents that describe the past and current state of information on the topic of your research study as as you know whenever you are selecting a particular topic before selecting the topic also you have to go through a thorough literature survey or literature review then from there you will have to find a, lit a resource gap and on the basis of the research gap you will have to choose your objective and the topic topic and the objective that's why literature survey is very vital and this literature review is a systematic method for identifying evaluating and interpreting the work produced by researchers scholars and practitioners because see uh, just like in the previous slide i mentioned that you cannot do the research in isolation why uh, why i am telling that thing because uh, when you do the work at the same time you have to see uh, who are the people uh, uh, you know working in that particular area then you have to find out what progress they are making in that particular topic see you never know that whatever things is in your mind same things may be in other people's mind that's why research is a kind of thing that must be different from other that's why you have to keep your knowledge you have to you know uh, just clear your knowledge about the particular topic and also what are the things here what are the recent advancement has been done in that particular topic all this idea you have to keep before uh, proceed your research work that's why this thorough literature survey or literature review about a particular topic is very very important for the researchers and this literature review it is not like a it is not you cannot say that those who are doing the research for the uh, the starting time or the first time they will only do the literature review it is not correct you have to do the literature survey a literature review throughout of your research if you are continuing the research at the uh, last stage of your research also you have to do the literature review then only you will get the up to date information about the particular topic because see uh, now what will happen uh, if if you will not uh, you know read the articles of author in that case uh, you will not get enough information you will not uh, able to uh, clear your concept about that particular topic basic is necessary you have to clear the basic at the same time what progress has been made in that topic that is also very vital so the proper literature review uh, is very vital for doing any kind of research it is a scientific non scientific any kind of topic you have to do the thorough literature review and once you are doing a thorough literature review then your knowledge your basic knowledge of the topic will improve at the same time the recent work what are the recent work uh, uh, you know a recent work has been done in that topic that also you will able to know then only you can proceed for the review article the people who will have a thorough literature review he uh, he is uh, he will be only able to write a uh, you know this uh, review article an impactful review article now we will define what is a review article you know a critical uh, constructive analysis of the literature in a specific field through summary classification analysis and comparison will be considered to be a review article and a scientific based uh, text uh, uh, you know relying on previously published literature or data see uh, why i am telling this thing uh, if you see about a review article generally people uh, what they so, some of the researchers what they do they start writing the review article at the starting of their research but that is not the correct step to write a review article first thing is that you should clear your basic concept about a topic about a, a particular topic then you have to go through a thorough you know you have to go through a, a thorough literature survey about that particular topic then only you know uh, you will then only you will be able to uh, you, have, you know uh, just fix your objective uh, and you can proceed for your work that's why uh, some guide they prefer to write a review article after the end of their project yeah, after the end of their research work in that case what will happen they will have a sufficient amount of data at the same time they will have a sufficient amount of knowledge because they have done some kind of work related to the topic but 
if you write a review article at the starting time, in that case, you will face some problem. And you, you cannot say that uh, it, it is very easy to write a review article. See, uh, you know, some articles you will find, uh, uh, you know, do, in that article you will find a, uh, you know, number of reference should be more than your 100, you have more than uh, 150 uh, your articles. And in that time, going through all the articles and uh, writing uh, their summaries and you have to find out your own conclusion for the, from that, it will be a very challenging thing. You cannot say that it is very easy to write a review article and you can easily write a review article within a shorter you know, period of time. You can compare, see the impactfulness, if you see the, uh, the impactfulness of a review article and the original work, definitely original work will get, you know, uh, yeah, the weightage would be a bit uh, more as compared to the review one. But at the same time, if you're writing a review article, if it's a good one, in that case, the citation, so that is very important. The citation of the article will increase. Because a lot of people will follow your article. Uh, if it is a good review article, then definitely they will follow your review article for their own work if they are working in that particular area. That's why, uh, you know, your writing of the review article, the steps of the review article writing, that, that you should know properly by which, uh, you know, the other people, whenever they will read your article, they will easily understand that and what you want to say. What means the conclusion from, from the 100 paper which you are following, same conclusion you will have to, you know, produce in your article. So that's why uh, you have to be very much clear and you have to be very much, you know, uh, your, your concept must be very much clear related to the topic by which you can proceed for writing the review article. So uh, the end, the review article is, is, is a kind of, you know, about a telling a story and kind of a chain story, you can say, uh, where each writer start with a uh, partial story created previously by others and expand on it. The existing literature is the story so far. Means whatever literature exists, or whatever, uh, you know, literature means whatever work has been done in that particular area, that work you are mentioning. So that is all about the writing of a review article. If you see the, you know, uh, your, uh, a lot of journal, what they do is they, uh, you know, prefer to invite some of the eminent scientists from that particular area to write a review article because they will have a vast knowledge uh, regarding that area and at the same time, uh, you know, their basic must be clear in that particular area and they have a significant contribution from that particular area. So, so if they will do that thing, then then uh, if that fellow, uh, that particular experienced person, if they will write a review article, then it will be, you know, an impactful one. At the same time, it will be an informative one. So it is uh, uh, very, you know, uh, it is advisable uh, to, you know, uh, yeah, write a review article by a experienced person who who has a you know significant amount of experience related to that particular topic. A young researcher he can write, but he can uh, write, he cannot write the review article in that broad way. For, uh, you know what a uh, you know senior scientist or senior researchers can write a review article. So once you get a, a knowledge, uh, you know uh, you are very impactful knowledge about the topic, then only you should proceed for the writing of a review article. Now, uh, why the, why uh, is review paper is very popular? What is the, uh, what is the, uh, you know, reason uh, for the, you know, uh, popularity of a review article? First thing is that it provides extensive review of previously published literature and put them into perspective. That is fine because, see, uh, if if someone is directly you know referring one review article, yeah, directly going through the review article at the same time, he is getting the knowledge, a conclusion, uh, which has been given by suppose 50 number, or 100 number of papers. So that's why it would be you know uh, very easy for the researchers to follow the review article rather than to follow that 50 number of article which that review article uh, you know uh, they they have used. Then it offers a critical evaluation of published literature. See what happens whenever a if you see a good review article, their conclusion would be a something kind of interesting one because in the conclusion uh, they will have to write 
about the finding or about the improvement about that particular area and that the conclusion would be different and uh, yeah, different uh, you know as compared to the 50 number of paper which the particular author is following so that's why a critical evaluation uh, of the published literature that you know you will get from the review article then it create an understanding of the topic definitely because if you whenever you write the review article you know the introduction part the basic concept must be clear then the you know progress of the work that should be mentioned in the topic so the basic understanding related to the topic will be clear if it will be a very good review article and uh, uh, identify the gap or gap in the knowledge see if any you know uh, any any research gap is there and uh, definitely it is if it is a good review article you will find that gap in the particular review article means what are the things that particular particular authors they have done uh, about that topic and what are the things they have not covered in that thing that also you can analyze and you can find out from a good review article and it also provide a new approach or perspective that would stimulate further research it's definitely uh, uh, if if you are uh, following a review article if you are writing a review article that uh, you know conclusion that will stimulate to do the further research about the particular topic means what are the things has been done so far if someone is writing a review article uh, by writing the you know recent advancement your recent uh, you know your recent advancement uh, about a particular topic means in that case up to that date, what are the things has been done uh, about that particular topic you will find from the particular paper, particular review articles. Then in that case, you can choose your topic, you can uh, you know, find the research gap directly from that particular uh, you know, review article. That these are the things has been done by the authors. Now I can add something to that particular area and I can select, I can find out my, uh, your list, you can say that objective. Now, uh, what, are the, uh, what is the function of a review article? The function is like to organize the literature. See, uh, you cannot say that only by doing the literature uh, and uh, putting that literature uh, will be sufficient for the review article. It is not like that. See, literature review, the, anyone can do, but the, uh, you know, putting the literature in the review article, that is very vital. And uh, you have to, you know maintain a proper sequence and there will be a connection between all the literature and uh, you know that uh, organize that is very important how you're organizing the you know all the literature which you have done and at the same time uh, you have to keep in your mind that if i am writing this review article uh, on which way i'll classify all these things by which the reader will easily understand the concept uh, understand the work recent work i yeah, understand the work about that particular topic so organizing the literature is very important then to evaluate the literature means evaluate means what are the things has been done by the uh, authors related to the idea that means evaluation of the literature that the thing you have to mention in the review article that this is a kind of function then the to identify the pattern and the trend of the literature and this pattern that that you know uh, i can say that uh, you know uh, suppose I'm, I'm giving a small example. Suppose someone is, uh, in, uh, you know, making a different kind of material, I can consider, and different processes are there for making one kind of material. Suppose someone is making a new material, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, and, uh, suppose someone is making not a new, a, one material has been made by different authors and different researchers. Now, in the review article, you can write what are the process the authors have followed for preparation of that particular material on the basis of that you can segregate so the pattern that you can do by yourself the what are the different technology they have used the different authors have used for the preparation of the material at the same in that case you can uh, segregate the work of other uh, different researchers on the basis of the technology they have used so you have to segregate the concept you segregate the work of the researchers of that particular topic on the basis of their technology methodology application and uh, also uh, you know the work like on the basis of your when this work happened and uh, during uh, suppose uh, suppose during a particular tenure you can segregate on the basis of suppose 2000 to 2005 what advancement has happened 
then 5 to 10 what advancement has happened likewise you can also segregate depending upon the topic you can segregate or you can follow a particular pattern then synthesize you have to add all the literature survey then you have to add all the literatures which you are doing then uh, it will create a you know you can say that it will create a particular flow and uh, you will be easily understand you will be easily understand the uh, you know we are a flow of the uh, work the flow of the uh, you know work by different authors about a particular topic then at the last you, you know the main function would be you will also find the research gap from that particular uh, your review article if you are following a review article the research gap will also be known to you now uh, if you see the you know types of review article uh, see uh, according to the method your methodology the sub t type and according to the objective also some different types of reviews are there uh, it has been mentioned in the three different ways broad classification methodology in terms of methodology one is uh, narrative review then best evidence review and systematic review what is a narrative review uh, in, in narrative review what happens the selected studies are uh, compared and summarized on the basis of the author's experience and existing theory and the model and uh, in this case the results are based on the uh, qualitative rather than the quantitative level whenever we are writing, doing a narrative review about a particular topic it will be a qualitative work qualitative means already i have uh, discussed that thing in my uh, first lecture if you are representing the work uh, not in term of a number that would be a qualitative work for example you are mentioning the uh, you know behavior of a uh, you know uh, your uh, you know uh, your human behavior in that case that will be a qualitative one so, so in that narrative review uh, it, it will uh, you know create uh, it will uh, select the studies and it can be compared and summarized on the basis of author's experience then uh, best evidence review this kind of review it focus on the selected studies uh, which combined with systematic method uh, of study selection and your result exploration that is called as your best evidence review At the same time what is a systematic review systematic review means finding from various individual studies are analyzed systematically by strict procedure it's you have to uh, you know for, uh, follow a proper procedure for writing that systematically you have to write it uh, you have to write that and meta analysis uh, are used to pull the result of individual studies see this according to the uh, according to this methodology approach you can segregate the review in different ways like on the basis of methodology on the basis of the technology use on the uh, basis of you know uh, the you can say that uh, uh, what are the procedure they have followed on the basis of that you can segregate the work done by different authors likewise uh, type of objectives it is like uh, you know status quo review it is basically the presentation of most current research for a given topic or field of research for a uh, for particular topic what happens people they do not consider the work which has been done long back they consider a tenure of five years or four years what are the work has been done in that particular area right in that way the history uh, history review what is that development of field of research over time means uh, like what was happening uh, during 90s then after 10 years in 2000 what happened to the related to that topic then after to the year 2010 what happened likewise in a decade yeah, within five, five years in each five year what advancement has been happened that will call like a uh, history review then issue reviews it is related to a particular issue about a particular topic means investigation of a particular issues means uh, you know you can point out a disagreement or a question in a specific field of research and this is the problem in here this is the problem problem of a particular topic and on the basis of that yeah, on the particular issues you can write the issue reviews likewise the theory and model review it is based on the uh, you know the new model and new theory in a specific field of research means uh, you can consider a newly you know uh, developed model by uh, a particular researchers and how the model has been used by other authors and application of that model that you can analyze by writing a review article you see all together if you see the writing of the review article it is fully depend upon the you know the, the authors who is writing means you have to keep in your mind that how i will write that review article by which 
my audience means my uh, uh, audience means the 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 people who are working in that particular area they will easily understand they will easily understand the particular topic at the same time they will get same kind of conclusion uh, without referring that number of paper which you are following for the writing of that particular review article that is very important that is the main thing about the review article means it will be easy for the authors to follow that will be, or yeah, it, it will be easy for the researchers to follow a review article instead of following the 50 100 number of uh, you know that uh, uh, we are uh, research paper which that uh, author is following the yeah, author is uh, author is you know consider for writing his review article it will less time uh, yeah, it will be you know uh, less time consuming so the sequence yeah, the, the the you know pattern by which you have to write uh, it was, it must be yeah, it should be easy for the audience yeah, easy for the researchers to understand the concept about that particular topic from your review article see if you see uh, like uh, a lot of people they, they they think that you know sending a review article to a you know, like you know not all the journal they will not uh, accept the review article but that is not you know uh, absolutely correct because around 95 percent of the journal they accept the review article and it is a very you know prestigious thing for the journal also why the reason is if they are if they are you know uh, they are, uh, um, this you know accepting a review article means the citation of that journal will increase people will follow uh, the you know particular paper because review article if people write just to increase the citation definitely you get a very good citation uh, about that particular topic and this review article is generally, you know, you know, a, a senior scientist and all, they, they generally, you know, uh, write, uh, you know, you can consider uh, the senior scientist who is having a in-depth knowledge, they can, they can write the review article uh, in a very good manner. Because until and unless you won't have the experience, uh, you won't have the basic concept about the topic, you're not able to write properly the review article. So before writing a review article you should clear your doubt by which it will be easy for you to write the review article now the you know uh, your review article format means uh, what are the what is the format of a review article see just like your you can consider the uh, original work uh, the uh, your uh, you can consider the this original research work the procedure is same same as your topic abstract introduction methods result discussion and references the format would be same but only difference should be there in case of a original resource work there your work will be presented in a particular fashion here in this fashion but in a review article the, the work of other people will be written in a particular in a uh, you know well patterned yeah, in, in a systematic manner that is the difference well, the procedure the format of a review article same as your original research article now uh, going to the title i uh, see uh, title of a paper is very vital and why it is vital because whenever you send an article to a journal first thing that particular the editor of the journal will see the title and title title must be you know very clear uh, yeah, it must be you know uh, very we can say that it must be unique kind of thing and the title should not be matched with uh, you know uh, the other people's style in the uh, other people's title in that particular area so it must be a unique one and it should you know the, the uh, editor yeah, the authors yeah, the researchers who will read your title they should understand uh, you know the the you know they will they should understand the you know, what the particular title is telling means what is that particular article is uh, you know saying from that title if you are writing a title if you are writing another kind of title and uh, within the uh, manuscript uh, you know the so your um, writing part is of different one then in that case it will be a problematic one so the title must help the reader to decide whether they should read the text or not so you have to very much careful while writing a title for the review article 
these are the point i mentioned out here for writing the title of the review article first thing is that the title has to include the important terms means i am giving one example if someone is writing about a particular methodologies in that case that particular methodology term should be mentioned in the uh, title if someone is writing about the properties of a particular material in that case he should mention the uh, you know material name in that title if someone is uh, you know those are working in a management areas if they are uh, analyzing and they are using a mathematical modeling for uh, uh, you know for for any kind of uh, you know we are uh, problem in a particular area that mathematical uh, that uh, methodology which they are using that they should mention means on the basis yeah, on which basis you are writing yeah, over which you are writing that should be mentioned in the title by which what will happen the reader who will read the article from the title you will understand that yeah whether i have to follow the article or not from the title he must understand that one. next is it has to indicate that the text is a review article see the name of the review article yeah, the title of the review article is bit different as compared to the uh, you know your original research article why uh, from the uh, your title it must be clear that it is a kind of review article that's why whenever you see a review article you should you will find that you know the, the term review the comparative study and the you know your um, a study of something like that this kind of thing should be there by which it will be easily understood that no it is a kind of review article it is not a original work. i am just showing you some of the uh, you know example of the some of the uh, review article uh, how they have given the title see <laughs> see this review this word review what happens you can use this word at the starting you can also use the use the word of review at the middle also you can also use the word of review at the end also so this is the word of review the review word they have used at the starting a review of modified dlc coating it is a kind of coating as i was telling those who are you know interested to uh, do the research about dlc coating in that case they will uh, you know follow this article because the term must be there in the title then also the same thing for the biological ap application they have categorically mentioned that what are the things yeah whatever the things they have uh, written out here it is all related to the biological application so the important things should be there then how you understand that it is a your a review article or not this terms should be mentioned likewise review uh, a review of a modified dlc putting for biological application likewise i am showing you see it is related to the 3d printing of a smart material in the previous case the term review was at the starting now it is at the middle 3D printing smart materials, a review on recent progress in 4D printing. Likewise, means that this kind of term should be there by which it will be easily understood that it is a review article. And see, I'm showing you some of the other articles. See, here the review term review, it is at the end. So you can use the this word review term at the starting, at the middle, at the end also. It is up to you how you are, you know, your writing the uh, uh, how you are writing the title for the particular topic see if you are finding uh, this kind of work and uh, you know this a review has been written at the end and you want to you know specifically write uh, some of the some part related to this particular topic in that case you can use this review part at the starting and you can just change some of the point your word in the particular topic and you can write that's why so similarly here also see recent advancement instead of writing suppose someone is not writing a review term they can also write recent advances in the mechanical and trivological properties of fluorine containing dlc film means this word only it is easily understood that yes it is a kind of review article so from the topic only the reader will understand that it is a review article or not at the same time important in important word must be mentioned in the topic see in this case they have categorically analyzing the properties mechanical and trivological they have mentioned the term mechanical and trivological properties so if those who are working in this area related to the mechanical and trivological properties of this uh, year putting they will go through this article so the reader must be clear about that
Okay. Then uh, see. Then the, keep the title concise. See, actually, uh, one of the scientists uh, he had uh, you know written one you know he had produced one statement related to the your uh, this uh, review article title. In that case, uh, the name of the scientist is your you know uh, Davis in 2005. He, he suggested that the review article title. Yeah, the word in the review article should be in between 8 to 12. It is not like that. It should it cannot more than that. It, it cannot be less than that. But in general, he uh, you know uh, you know he he just uh, pointed out and he written one article where he has mentioned that and the review article uh, title should not be very you know very large. It must be in between 8 to 12 word. But I have seen some of the article where the total number of what is more than 12 also but that is in the special case and a longer subtitle uh, may be an option in case of your uh, in a specification is necessary that he is telling but yeah the, in general this uh, title generally it is in between your, uh, your 8 to 12 word that you can follow but you it can it can go beyond to that it can uh, you know be less than that less than 8 also now we'll go to the abstract yes Let's start. See, uh, sim just like your original research work, uh, yeah, yeah, original article in the uh, in the review article, the abstract portion is also there, and the abstract should be approximately of around you know 200 to 300 watt. And see how we write the abstract. For writing the abstract, you know, three and four, three and three or four point, yeah, three or four points are there. Three. Uh, we have four points are there that you have to keep in your mind. First thing is that importance, you know, and the introduction to that particular topic. Is why this topic is important. That you have to mind, write in two to three, two line, a three line in the abstract, starting of the abstract. Then the general methodology related to that particular topic that you can write in the abstract. Then you can write your contribution. Why you are you know, uh, doing this review article, then at the end you have to write the implication of your research. Means, uh, what are the critical things you are finding from all this literature? Uh, you know, that conclusion kind of part that you have to write at the last point of your abstract. So, abstract will contain four part in this review article. First will be the in general kind of introduction you have to write about that particular topic. Then you will go to the general methodology. Uh, when we use in that particular topic, then you have to write your contribution, what you are doing and all that you have to write. Then at the end, the conclusion part, what you are getting by going through that large number of articles while writing a review article. That also you have to mention. So this abstract, it is a, it provide a brief summary of the review question being addressed or rational for the review. The major studies reviewed and conclusion drawn. Uh, please, uh, yeah, do not cite any reference in the presently uh, in the review article. We, we you know, uh, cite in the body in the introduction part, but generally, we do, it is uh, not advisable to cite anything within the abstract. But some special case you will find where uh, you know the you know uh, people mention about the author's name in the abstract, but it is rarely you can consider. But you should not uh, cite anything while writing the abstract of a review article. An abstract should be precise and from that abstract, the basic thing about the topic at the same time, the conclusion which has been drawn by uh, following that number of article should be there in the abstract. Now next is your introduction part. It is also very vital. Uh, this introduction part, it is, uh, you know, you can say that uh, uh, it introduced the topic uh, of your rationale for addressing this topic, focusing on why this topic is important. Yes, whenever someone is writing the review article, in that case, you will have to address that thing, why that topic is important, why so many authorities has done the work to that topic. That thing you have to mention in the introduction. Then you have to also clearly define exactly what this article will discuss, outline the order in which you will discuss each subtopic to give the reader any background information needed to understand the coming sections. Means 
after the uh, introduction then you will go to the body section of the uh, edb article there what yeah, on which basis you will do the anal on, on which basis you will do the discuss uh, will basically will do the discussion all these thing you can write in the uh, introduction part the last paragraph of the introduction part in the starting paragraph it will be a common thing yeah, in general thing a basic thing about the topic why the topic is important then what you are doing yeah, why you are doing this review or the uh, uh, review of that particular uh, review of this particular area that thing you have to mention and on which basis you are you know uh, segregating the content of that uh, your this uh, um, your paper that also you have to mention in the introduction part then this is uh, the most important one that is your body where the soft topic being addressed in the body part, see, it depends upon the authors who is writing the review article. You can write the review article as your own format. Own format means the segregation that you can do by yourself. And, and uh, in that case, you know, uh, you should not follow the other people's, uh, you know, review article means on which basis they have written. If you are sure that in this way, if I will write, then the audience will understand the topic then you can write in that way also but you cannot write in general one like without segregating the topic and without segregating on 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 any basis on basis of your technology on basis of methodology on basis of your process in any basis you have to segregate and you have to you know cite the literature you have to write the other people's work in that section only just I'm giving one some example about the body because this is very vital about the uh, you know uh, your, uh, the, your, this this is the you can consider the heart of the review article that that's why I'm showing you, you through the example see uh, the review of a modified DLC coating for a biological application so here they have written they consider this DLC coating altogether and specifically for the biomedical application this is a very reputed journal uh, in 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 Elsevier, this time on a related material so see the introduction part they have written now go to the you know see cell in contact with dlc and alert dlc this is one category likewise if you go blood in contact application then is hip joint and you know load bearing implant on the basis they have segregated in this way likewise anyone can segregate in their own way see once if you are going through a topic then you will find uh, well, you know on the on which basis you want to segregate your work so now see whatever work they have mentioned out here see in this case those people they have worked in related to this all are related to dlc coating and all are related to the biological application now the application in which area that is important for hip joint for blood for everywhere they have segregated in that way likewise in your own area you have to segregate in that way also in general without segregating you cannot write a review article and it will not be published in a good or reputed journal so you have to segregate and you have to classify your body part of the review article on the basis of a particular concept that may be your methodology that may be the application that may be the procedure on any basis you have to segregate that one and everywhere you have to keep the citation see number of citation it, it is very important whenever you are writing about other people's work proper citation is very much necessary that is very 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 vital if you are you know uh, considering you know any kind of graph any kind of you can consider the image and all in that case you, you should take the permission from the uh, your journals see here they have meant they have considered you know uh, see uh, yes they have mentioned this one from uh, uh, not this one yes okay mm. yes yes see they have considered they have, they have taken this you know diagram uh, and they have copied from this paper this this paper they have copied now if you are copying from other paper any graph or any any picture any image in that case you must take the approval from that journal and in Elsevier in Springer it is very easy to get the approval directly go to their site 
and uh, you know one uh, portion is there where uh, this when for the approval and all you just write uh, what is the purpose of you know using that graph in your work and all all this detail you just fill and you uh, you know uh, uh, submit through online and you will get the approval no need to worry but you must take that approval in that way you should write so uh, this, this this i'm uh, this is related to the you know other topic here i am pointing out just see recent advancement in mechanical and tribological properties of fluorine containing blc film it's, it is also a very prestigious journal now deposition mechanism they have written in that way the number of deposition mechanism the structure of this film on, on this mechanical performance in mechanical within that performance hardness and modulus is a properties likewise a lot of things are there see uh, in, in, as as this area is uh, not you know uh, you may not be from this area so the terminology which has been using in the uh, which has been used in this article it will be very tough for you to understand but what i can say is that uh, while writing the review article uh, you know the segregation uh, this uh, you can say that division of the work related to that topic that is very vital for example you know if you are reviewing three different methodology you might divide the body of the article into three section each discussing one of the method that's why what i was discussing that is very vital on which any basis you can segregate but in that way only you have to write if you see if you read a good review article definitely this kind of things should be there otherwise some paper i have seen some of the conference paper people used to write you know um, all the reviews at a, at a particular place and they send the uh, you know they, they publish in a uh, you know scopus scientific proceeding up to for the scopus scientific proceeding you can publish but for a good journal for a good sci journal or sci journal it will be very tough for you to publish in that case you have to be careful be careful so in this section be sure to uh, describe the research methods and evaluate how studies were conducted focusing on the study design analysis means intention to treat uh, you know uh, versus complete us uh, retention rate compare studies and discuss on their implication it is uh, you know all together the thing is that they are uh, you know they are telling the same thing you have to write the body part on the basis of a particular concept a particular you know uh, you can say that a particular Uh, methodology or particular process, particular application on the basis of that you have to segregate. Now this uh, uh, your uh, conclusion that is also very vital as you know uh, uh, your uh, in the review article it is not like that uh, you know only just you know projecting the others work will be only sufficient. Now what conclusion you are getting from that fifty or hundred number of articles uh, which you have followed. that is also very vital and on the basis of that you have to draw your own conclusion if you see throughout the review article one thing is yours that is the conclusion part because the rest of the thing you are following from uh, you are writing uh, your others work but at the end the conclusion part that you have to write by yourself by going through all these these articles what conclusion you have made that you have to mention in that particular uh, case now uh, you know you should uh, also discuss the implication and the review finding and uh, where you think research in the field should be should go, you know should go from here all this thing in general term you have to give one kind of conclusion about here yeah, from from that particular topic now references see that references is very vital because in the review article it is not your own work you are presenting others work so as much as reference you can give you should because uh, without uh, Uh, you know citing the uh, citing you know uh, the authors paper if you are mentioning that is illegal so whatever things you are writing you should give a proper citation you should mention the you know uh, your uh, uh, articles name in a, like in the reference part where you are you know taking the data so where you are taking the concept or where you on which paper you are discussing all these things you have to mention in the reference part then uh, see uh, a lot of people they may ask question related to uh, uh, this review article writing that how many number of papers how many number of article is needed to write a review article see uh, uh, 
you know it is not necessary that minimum number of article like 50 100 like yeah, 200 it is necessary it is not there is no fixed number of article is needed but depending upon the topic yeah, i've seen a lot of review article where the total number of you know your uh, references your uh, 10 by considering 10 article people have uh, you know written uh, a review article and that has been published in a good index journal it depends of, upon your topic and how you are giving the topics name if the if you know more number of work has not been done about a particular topic in that case you not find you know uh, more number of paper in that particular topic so you can consider 10 number of paper 20 number of paper 30 50 100 even more than 100 also number of paper uh, yes those who are the, the scientists uh, uh, those who are having a vast experience uh, and, and the journal who invite the scientists to write a review article for them, they generally, you know, uh, your, uh, you can that invited review article that in general we tell to them that is an invited review article. In that, you will find at least 100 number of papers uh, as a reference uh, for writing a review article. But in general, there is no fix, there is no fixed rule that you have to also, you know, your site, you have to follow at least this number of paper. It is not like that. You can, you can uh, use. Uh, the number of article according to you and it is completely depend upon the research topic on which topic you are doing the research uh, so uh, see uh, uh, in this particular part actually uh, the uh, rest part this is preparing uh, preparing a review article in 18 different steps uh, different 18 steps are there that we will discuss in details in the next part of this lecture and uh, there, I will discuss in details about this 18 part.